Hello everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn, Left Better Tour Defense instructor and former professional tour player. And today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to hit your drives straight and far and hit the most fairways you possibly can. If this is your first time on my channel, please subscribe, like, and leave me a comment below what you want to see next because I always love to hear from you guys. So let's just jump right into the whole driving discussion. All right, as you can see, I have my three drivers here and yes, I rotate through them. There's another video that you can go watch that talks about how I switch through them and what I do with them depending on the day and the conditions of the course. So make sure you go watch that video. I also linked it below. But right now I want to pick one of the drivers and I'm just going to give you my top tips on how you can hit the most fairways you possibly can. So let's jump into it. All right, so as you can see, I have the AI Smoke, I have the Paradigm, and then I have the Roll Callaway driver here. And today I'm going to pick the drum roll. I'm going to pick my Rogue because I really like my Rogue. It's an awesome, awesome driver. It's kind of my day to day driver. I love the face. It's the softest feel of the faces out of these three. And I just love that on a regular day if I don't really have to battle with the wind too much. If I do battle with the wind, I take some of the other ones with the other shaft combinations. But again, watch my other video. I'm very, very clear and detailed on what I do and how you do it when the situations and the conditions change. So let's talk about setup first, because setup really is the main thing for the driver. Um, and a lot of people ask me this question. Do not ask me this question in the comments, <laughs> because if one more person asks me this question, I'm going to lose it. It's basically so how do I swing with the driver? You know, when I talk to somebody, I give a lesson and I give them a technical feel and I explain to them how they should swing the club. And then they're like, but what about the driver? It must be completely different. And I'm like, my God, this may be a newsflash, but the swing is exactly the same. Like what you're, what you're thinking and how you're swinging is really truly the same exact thing to your five iron and to your seven iron and to your eight iron unless you're trying to do something different unless you're trying to shape the ball or you're trying to flight the ball or you're trying to do something crazy but stock shots have the exact same swing thoughts because the driver is completely different and set up right it's longer it has a different lie angle it has a massive head um, the way it's set up already sets you up to swing differently so your positioning of your body is happening if you're getting your setup correctly um, but the swing itself stays the same so the setup changes based on how the club is built compared to an iron, but the swing and the thoughts stay exactly the same. So do not ask your coach if you should be swinging differently with the driver because the answer is absolutely heck no. Okay, sorry, rant over, I got that out. <laughs> but now you know. All right, so let's jump into the setup pieces. I'm gonna have a couple of points, so make sure you watch this entire video so you can get all these points and make sure you take some notes and then let me know in the bottom comments which one was the key differentiator for you guys, which one you were already doing and which one you didn't do before. So number one, your ball position should be right inside your lead heel. So your left heel in my case, because I'm a righty, but if you're lefty, it would be your right heel. So it's your lead heel just inside. So if I was to put, you know, my driver down right here, you want it to be you can be at your heel or you can be just inside your heel. Those are really, there's a little bit of wiggle room here depending on, you know, your setup, your arm length, your, your leg length, every body is different. I like to have it kind of like right inside my left heel. And as you can see here, because the ball is further forward, your body is already behind it. And that's good because you want to ideally hit up on a driver, right? You don't want to hit down on a driver. That's really what kills your distance. It would, it's what kills your nice, like high ball flight. So you want to make sure that let's just stand straight. You put your driver into that ball position and then you're just going to grip it with your left hand right here. And then what happens when you take your right hand, you add it because you have to go under it a little bit, right? With your grip, um, you see that my right shoulder is now a little bit lower than my left shoulder. So that's completely normal and also really important. And ideally you have that same tilt with your hip. So because you're kind of behind it with your with your body, you have that tilt naturally. And that's really a huge key to hitting your driver well. And then when you start to rotate, you're going to maintain that angle. You're not going to now, you know, shift away. Uh, and a lot of people do shift away a lot because they want to create power and they feel like they need to do this. But you really want to rotate. Once you've set up correctly like this, you really want to rotate around that setup to get to your top position and then shift 
back down into your actual impact. So, because you want to keep driving forward, but you want your body and your head especially to stay behind. What is the killer with the driver again is that you're coming this way, that you're coming over the top and your head is moving past your ball. So if you're struggling with your driver, make sure that you're doing these things. Ball position, simply grab your driver with your left hand, add your right hand, make sure that your shoulder is dropped a little bit in relation to your left shoulder, same with your hip, and now you're good to go. And from here, you can really keep all the swing thoughts that you've been doing with your coach, whether that's, you know, a better takeaway with your hands in, club head out. And a lot of people think that, you know, feeling steeper in your driver's swing, because this sometimes makes people feel steeper, but it really isn't. If you look at any of the pros on the tour, they actually have their club head, you know, club head outside of their hands and it's covering their hands. You can see this from the down line view a little bit better. This, and then going up and at least matching your hands. I also have a video on this um, that I'll link below. But again, it may feel steeper, but because you're already standing further away because the club is longer, you're actually going to be put on a shallower plane already. So make sure you get your ball position, your shoulder and your hip angles correctly, and then just swing away with the swing thoughts that you're working on in any given swing. It does not change. All right, so let's hit one with all these thoughts in my setup and all my own swing thoughts, which I'm not gonna list all these out for you because you guys will be so confused. <laughs> so that's another video of actually going through my personal swing thoughts. Ball just inside my lead heel. My right shoulder tipped a little bit, my left shoulder a little bit higher. Same with my hips, just aligning it to my shoulders. And then keep your swing thoughts that you're working on and just focus on rotating around that setup. And here you go. I hope you really enjoyed this and maybe this was a little bit of an aha moment because again, I've gotten this question so many times and I wanted to make sure I address it. The driver is exactly the same swing, but the setup changes based on how the driver is set up. So I hope you loved it. Let me know in the comments below, subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you guys next time.